Hello, I'm Dan from The Land App, and welcome to this short introductory video where I will cover how you can use our new functionality to prepare for the upcoming agricultural transition, readying yourself for DEFRA's environmental land management schemes and other funding opportunities you might be looking to pursue. This includes our two new mapping templates, Baseline Habitat Assessment and Land Management Plan. Just before I begin, I'd like to thank the partners that have helped us to get to this point. UK Hab Limited for creating the UK Habitat Classification, a unified system for mapping land for which this workflow relies upon. The Farming and Wildlife Advisory Group Southwest for joining the classification system to the agricultural practice under their ELMS trial. The Land Workers Alliance for testing the model of the land management plans within their ELMS trial and adding new horticultural codes and to Ordnance Survey and the Rural Payments Agency for providing quality data for making this workflow possible. If you haven't done so already, you can download your land cover data from the Rural Payment Agency. You can complete a basic payment using the basic payment scheme template. On this template, you can add all the features that you find around your holding or farm. Once your basic payment scheme is complete, you can access the first new template, the baseline habitat assessment, by clicking the duplicate button. By clicking this button, this tells the software that you want to translate your basic payment scheme into a baseline habitat assessment in the language of UK HAB. This auto translation step reduces any risk of BPS being translated incorrectly into the language of UK HAB. Not only is UK HAB useful because it covers 100% of the land, UK HAB is also the language which is used to underpin the biodiversity metric 3.0. You can build the data by checking the habitat and amending it, adding additional features such as stewardship options, adding management codes, working with collaborators such as ecologists and advisors who can conduct a full farm assessment, and noting condition scores using the right-hand panel. Not only is this baseline data available as a map, by using GIS systems you can also export it as a table view. The second template that we have released is the Land Management Plan. To bring a field or a feature onto the land management plan, firstly select the field, right click and duplicate it to land management plan. It is on this template that you demonstrate what areas of your farm or holding you are wishing to change. In this example, I am planning to change my fallow plot into an area of dense scrub through natural regeneration. Now working around my holding, I can bring over the features that I'm interested in changing from my baseline. This could include buffering a pond, planting new hedges or woodlands, or changing to a new management strategy. The land management plan template can be used as a scenario planning tool with your advisor's help to compare different scenarios. When you're ready, you can use your final land management plan to express interest in the particular scheme or opportunity that you wish to pursue. Remember, these can also be shared with an ecologist who can help you deliver an environmental impact assessment. It is these two layers, the baseline habitat assessment and the land management plan, that is outlining how and where your farm is meeting the goals of the 25-year environment plan. When groups of farms use these templates together, we can identify where the uplift is happening within the landscape, and also whether we can join together habitats for an increased ecological benefit. Thank you for watching this update video from the Land App on how spatial data can help you prepare for the environmental land management and natural capital markets. 
please do keep an eye out for future updates from our team and our wider partners.